Hi, thanks for joining us, you guys. We'll start in just a minute with Ruthie, and we'll have James. Hi, Ruthie. Thank you for joining Hello. us. We'll get started with Annie Costable from the Sun-Times. Hey, Ruthie. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Um, have you, sorry, the only reason I'm asking this is because it, it doesn't look like you're at the facility. So um, have you <laughs> had practice the last, uh, did you practice today or? Yeah, we've had practice this whole two, three days. Okay, cool. So then um, my second question is just how would you describe um, the last few days of practice after the loss to the Wings? Yeah, this has been really energetic. There's been a lot of good energy. So I'm really excited for uh, tomorrow's game against Minnesota because I know we're ready and really dialed in right now. And, you know, this game against Minnesota then, you know, sets up a, a lengthy road trip. So before you, you take on this, um, I think it's like a five-game road trip, What's the mentality like heading into, um, you know, five road games like that? Yeah, I think we're just excited to, you know, have games rolling again. And I think we're really ready. Uh, like I said, these last two days of practice have been really, really good. So I'm just really excited to see how it translates into the games. Okay, cool. Well, that's all for me. Thanks, Ruthie. Thank you. Charles Hallman. Hi, Ruthie. How are you today? Good, how are you? All right, uh, what, what you think will be your biggest challenge in playing Minnesota tomorrow? Oh, I mean, they're just not, they're another really good team. Um, they have lots of good, you know, post and guards. So I think we're focusing on both of the, just the whole team. So we're just gonna go in and play hard and play how we know we should be playing. Thank you, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. No Wilkes. All right, no. Oh, hi. Hi, Ruthie. How are you doing today? Hi, good. Um, um, I just want to ask you, you guys are sitting in sixth place right now in the standings. Um, at 11 and 11, do you feel like these upcoming games can make or break the Chicago Sky season? Um, I think we're just excited for these next games coming up and we're ready to, you know, start another winning streak and just go out. We know every game is important. So we'll hopefully come out and play like, you know, every game is important, especially this road trip we're about to go on. And the team has started, has had some slow starts these past two games. Is that something that you guys have addressed um, these last three days in practice? Um, I think we kind of know what we're doing wrong, what we're doing right. So I, like I said, I think that's why these last few days of practice have been really focused, really fun and energetic because we know we need to come out with that kind of energy. Thank you. James Kay. Hey Ruthie, thanks for your time. Um, you're close to completing your second season in this league. I know the first one you had dealt with the wobble season and then here again, now we have so, somewhat of a normal season now. What has just been the biggest adjustment to you? And what's been, uh, yeah, the biggest differences between year one and year two? Um, probably just, you know, the traveling has been different. And then I think it's been really fun to be able to have, you know, kind of a home court advantage and just being able to see Chicago where we live and just kind of explore that aspect has been one of the biggest differences in being in the bubble. How's it been just playing at Wintrust Arena? I mean, it's one of the best experiences that a lot of fans have talked about before. Yeah, it's fun. The fans are great. It's just nice to be able to, you know, drive on to drive on up to Wintrust and just play there, play at home. It's just always fun to have, you know, home court. Absolutely. Thanks, Ruthie. Thank you. Annie, do you have another question? Yeah, I did just one last quick one. Following um, the loss on Tuesday, what was the messaging in the locker room when you guys, you know, came together? 
I mean, this it always sucks to lose, but uh, we got to move forward. We got to keep going. You know, we have a bunch of games left and games come pretty fast. So we kind of have to have a short memory, you know, remember what we did wrong, learn from it, but also move on to the next game. And then, um, sorry, one more. Um, Candace talked about earlier in the week that, you know, seating is important to pay attention to and, and not that y'all are overly paying attention to it, but it is something that, you know, you're, you're acknowledging. So um, how much is that on y'all's mind as the regular season kind of is, is going to quickly come to an end here? I, mean, I think everyone knows where, what the standings are. So I think we just want to, you know, make the playoffs, uh, play hard through it all. So we all know where we're standing, where all the other teams are. But, you know, it's just really focused game by game. Awesome. Thanks, Ruthie. Mm -hmm. Charles, did you have another question? No, I'm good. Thanks very much. Okay, no Thank you, Ruthie. We're going to have James Thank in just you. a moment. Bye.
One moment, you guys. Hi, James. Thanks for joining us. We'll start with Annie Costwell from the Sun Times. Hey, James. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Annie. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, what <laughs> has been the message this week as you guys prepare for Minnesota um, and then, you know, go on that this lengthy road trip you have coming up? Uh, you know, we talked about energy. We talked about, you know, togetherness and, you know, just uh, just uh thinking next play next play and and that's how we're thinking just next game so uh we just want to continue to stay positive and continue to work together and then how much is seating or or the standings on this team's mind right now well uh, it's not uh okay. we just know that the the best teams uh down the stretch are the teams that are playing well and uh we just we're just trying to play well and as consistent as possible Definitely. And then lastly, just um, asking again about Candace, how's she doing? Um, and do you have any yeah, change or update on, on her status? She didn't practice today, but she worked out after practice. So, um, we, you know, we, we're still just taking it day by day. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. James Kay. Hey, Coach. Thanks for your time. Um, hey, I feel like one of the strengths of this team is like offensively is just getting out and running transition, but there has been some points this season where you've struggled to score in the half court. Has yeah. there been anything uh, that stuck out to you in terms of what you guys could potentially correct on that uh, in your half court sets? Uh, yeah, I think our ability to, you know, not settle and, and the fact that we haven't screened well, um, you know, and so we, we worked on that a lot today, uh, screening well and getting out of screens and uh, taking care of the ball. Uh, but our our ability when we're able to uh, drive and kick, we're we're a much better team as well. So uh, having a ball across the floor, uh, you know, and and not settle for uh, the first shot that we get, um, that's that's helpful. So uh, we've been able to rack up assists, but uh, the fact that the turnovers have racked up with it is uh, not helpful. Thanks for your time, Coach. No, Wilkes. Hey, Coach Wade, how you doing today? All right, how you doing, No? I'm doing good. Um, you guys are going up against a Minnesota team. Um, last game you guys were killed on the old boards. Uh, I want to know how you guys um are addressing that problem going against a team like Minnesota, who has an outstanding rebounder and Sylvia Fouls, and you may be facing Minnesota without your leading rebounder and Candice um tomorrow. So what are some of the things that you are that you implemented to the team these past couple of days about rebounding? Uh, we just worked on it. OK, thank you. Charles Hallman. 
Hey, James, how you doing? All right, how you doing, Charles? I can't complain. I'm going to be another grandfather. I'm going to have twins this time. Oh, man, you got 12. Oh, my gosh. Incredible. Congratulations. That's, that's Two years ago, I had, I was, had none. I'm going to have three. In oh, Charles, you, you're hitting the lottery, man. You might as well play some numbers uh, for me, man. <laughs> A nine-game question. Uh, when you was here in Minnesota, I believe you worked with my son and other practice players. I don't know if you have resumed that practice in Chicago because of the pandemic. But what's the importance of having practice players in terms of preparing your your, your team? Um, I think, you know, the ability to, you know, the guys, they, they, they add a level of, of toughness and physicality and athleticism um, that, you know, uh, can go beyond what you see consistently in the games um, that we play. And so uh, it helps us. Uh, it helps us having that, you know, that extra – range as far as how how quickly the holes close up with that athleticism uh how high they they play above the rim you know and, and sometimes it's not as realistic but uh it, it makes you uh be extra cautious and how you take care of the ball um you know and and you know so it, i think it's it's helpful it's very helpful and um also given given the players uh an extended amount of rest uh, where they're not grounding, grinding so much on their on their legs, um, and you're able to focus on the things that you need to focus on, and uh, the guys, you know, playing scout scout basketball where we don't have our team being confused uh, playing Minnesota's defense or another team's defense uh, because they're trying to get the other, you know, the blue or the gray team is trying to get the blue or the gray team ready. Um, so you can have the guys doing that dummy defense or having the guys playing uh, Minnesota sets um, and we can still focus on just us. So, you know, having the guys, it covers a myriad of things and um, that's all that is a part of it. Will they resume that in Chicago? We have, we have, you know, we've, we've had protocols that have allowed us to have, you know, guys in practice and, uh, you know, doing those things uh, since the since the end of the since the break, since the end of the break. So that's been something that we've you know focused on, and and we've had guys, and they've helped us out a lot. Anything else on that, James? Hmm. Anything else on that? Subject? No, no. I mean, um, no. The the guys have been great, man. They've been great. You know, um, and you know, ev everywhere we we we've been, everywhere that I've been. Um, you know, I'm always appreciative of them and we always try to take care of them as much as possible. And um, they're our biggest supporters. So, uh, you know, I, I just want to give big props to them. Thank you very much, James. Good luck tomorrow night and say hello to your family for me. All right. Thank you. And congratulations again, man. You tell your son, I say congratulations. I will. Thank you. Thanks, Charles. Congratulations. And thank you, James. Thank you all for joining us. We will see you tomorrow after shoot around. And James will be available pregame. All right. Have thank you, guys. Friday night. All right.